taking the Ellis Drive exit off of I-20. We're heading north towards the zoo. Thought we'd ride around the zoo area, show y'all how bad that has gotten, how bad Ellis Avenue has gotten. We're coming up here on Lynch Street here. Y'all know I love Ellis Seafood. There it is right there. At least the original one on Ellis Avenue. Westland Plaza here on the left. There's still a remarkable condition to be as old as it is. Right through here. Let y'all see this if you haven't been to Westland Plaza in a long time. They used to have a carnival here. Was a, there was a pizza place right here in the middle of it. Maybe Gibbs or something like that. Pasquale's or something. I'm looking at the crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they got that steam yeah. thing or whatever. <laughs> but you can see, whoever owns the shopping center, has done a great job. This definitely isn't Jackson Square, that's for sure. It looks like it's at about 100% occupancy, or right at it. You still have some national chains, Hibbit Sports, Family Dollar, even a Planet Fitness, which I knew about that. I just, uh, I don't live over here. <laughs> You have a Frugal's Food grocery store there. Was that, was that Jitney Jungle or maybe Kroger at one point? It looks like Jitney. Yeah, it looks like a Jitney. With the red lettering. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see the deli and bakery up there. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the staple of any any shopping center in Jackson, Mississippi is a is an Aaron Drenton. We have a City Gear, Hibbit, a Rena Center, a double dip in here. Let me tell you something. When I was young, I got a TV from one of those places. Worst mistake I ever made in my life. Well, not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to buying electronics and messing with my credit, it was probably the worst. Kudos to these guys, man. They've done a great job of keeping this up when the area around them hasn't necessarily done a great job of keeping itself up. Baskin Robbins over there. We have steamers here, and it's like a 
what's really gotten big in Jackson is these Asian owned seafood buffet type places. They sell crab legs and all that kind of stuff. There's a couple out north. Now this is it here. We'll pretend to go through the drive-thru. Snow crab on the on the drive-thru menu. <laughs> you just don't see that too often. We need one of those. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Get a shot of the sign here. Oh, look, a liquor store in Jackson. It's a steamers, shrimp, and crab market. All right, so we're gonna get back out on the road here. And we're riding around in circles in a parking lot, looking suspicious, and get back to heading towards the zoo. So, I think what's that? Is that Hughes Field right there, where all the high school football, the JPS schools play? Yeah, Hughes Field. Mm -hmm. Where they used to be the tallest building in Jackson. It's like a retirement home. Mm -hmm. Party middle school here. The last time I rode through here, man, the roads were atrocious. I mean, like beyond atrocious. Like gravel would be an improvement. Chakwe, talking to you. The 90 million from Siemens. Start here. this out and make it the worst potholes in Jackson video. This is awful. Uh, I don't even know what road we're on the corner of Ellis Avenue and Jane. And Janky Gas Station. Big Boys Food Mart. Actually, not a given gas station. Jackson State pissed off all the time. People ask me why can't I go, why can't I see the good in Jackson? Right down Ellis Avenue. Well, the zoo is here on our left.
there's the zoo. Looks like we can ride back there. So we will. Basically closed. I love doing this, but not enough to get in trouble. Fire station number six. Got so many potholes, and there's a Twitter and an Instagram account called uh, Jackson Potholes or something like that. No. I'll, uh, they, they tag me and stuff on Instagram. I'm gonna tag them in this video here. Make sure I get the address right. Some of these big old Jackson churches. Pretty. Look at that, man. Yeah, that was a gorgeous church back in the day. All boarded up. churches were down through this Capitol Street area. Thank y'all for watching. We're about to pull through the cemetery and film another uh, cemetery video.